Yeah. Not sleeping Me. enough is a huge one. Absolutely. And everybody wants to just like focus on the food when it's our hormones that dictate what our body looks like, which is why I can eat 5,000 calories now and be 150 pounds. Whereas when I was eating 4,000 calories initially, I blew up to 190 pounds. So I'm still eating the same way, but I weigh, there's a 40 pound difference. And that just comes down to my body working more efficiently. Now it's working correctly. It's using the sugar that I take in to generate energy, not to store fat because I don't have that adaptive thermogenesis going on to the same degree that I had back then. And I think that this is a, it's really interesting because I think there's a cognitive dissonance that kind of clouds people because like you said, I don't want to just follow what somebody's saying. I want to, I want to study it. I want to learn it. And it's unfortunate because there's so much contradicting information, even in the textbooks, but in the textbooks, if you're going to study like ATP generation, the tricarboxylic acid cycle of, of uh, energy production, it starts with glucose. Glucose is the substrate for energy production. There, you will not find that wrong anywhere. Like every single cellular metabolism textbook will talk about that. And it's interesting because you'll go to a doctor and they'll say, do the keto diet, or you'll go to this person and say, you know, a dietitian, don't eat so much sugar when. I think that that's where you have people like High Carb Hannah and these other YouTube girls. And even Alice Olivia, I think that her information on eating disorder recovery is amazing. But even when watching some of her videos, she's like, don't eat too much refined foods. Focus on whole foods. Yeah, um, I yeah, I mean, I get that from like a nutrient perspective, but I know my digestion works the best when I have like a fusion of the two. And, yeah, yeah. And, um, I, I like to have whole foods, but sugar on top. And it's funny how a lot of a few vegans that uh, followed my advice, actually, even though they were very hardcore, like very pure before. But I don't know, maybe they see me as authority or whatever. And they tried and a girl wrote to me, oh, my God, I can't believe it. I had good digestion before, but now it's like, whoa, and I'm just adding sugar. That's so interesting. Yeah, because you're feeding the glands that are producing like hormones that help you move that stuff away. It's not just the fiber. It's actually the sugar. It's actually your nutrients. So now I'm, I'm seeing this, but um, what I wanted to say or um, what I wanted to say, I don't remember now, but... Um, the fact is, basically, if we wrap this up, the more calories from carbohydrates or from sugars that you manage to get inside you every day, the better and the faster your recovery will be. Is that true? Absolutely. Absolutely. I wish that I would have used sugar in the beginning because I think that that would have helped. It would have made the process by because a lot of times like especially I came from digestive issues where even fruit sometimes will still bother me if it's in like huge quantities but when I add the sugar in then I'm not having to eat as much fruit and it digests better and it tastes better I mean sugar just makes everything taste better and now I have like my palate so keen to it that I'll drink like a store-bought drink and I'm like oh my god like it's not it doesn't have enough sugar and I'm like dumping the sugar into it you know shake it up drink it but it's what you're saying about digestion you know all of our cells run on sugar and when you're taking in sugar with like in its simple form on fruit or on rice or cereal or something when it goes into your body it is it doesn't need a transporter or maybe it's fructose that doesn't need a transporter, but that glucose, because it's so simple, it can just dissolve like right into your bloodstream. It doesn't, with minimal effort. 
and um, that's where you're getting oh then your cells machinery starts working better and everything's working better and you're like oh my god I just feel better I remember I woke up this morning and I made a big like lemonade with lots of sugar in it and I wasn't I wanted to just sleep in this morning but I needed to get a run in because it was going to be really hot and my kids like to be active with me so I drank this and like bing woke up like just lights turned on turned music on started dancing around with my kids like it was just incredible yeah yeah I noticed the same when I'm when I'm doing the sugar but do you think like I think that the problem also is with what Harley is saying sometimes, like I really appreciate Freely and everything that she has done for like vegan community and for women and stuff like this, but I do have a bit of a resentment towards the fact that she is like not emphasizing the sugar thing as well. Because you know, Harley told us she was eating a lot of sugar, processed sugar, a lot of sweet drinks, and now she's like just fruit, 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 and she's living off grid, and which is fine, I don't care, but you know, she's having the best, the best fruit that she can get, maybe some of us can't, and it would be much more helpful if she told her followers, add the sugar in to improve the fruits, not just the fruit, 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 because as you said, sometimes it's not so palatable because it's not so high quality fruit. And if you add sugar, it's like you, it's similar like if you were eating, uh, I don't know, from, um, sh um, fruit from Thailand. Similar, but she doesn't oh, yeah. state that despite the fact that she uses it. And I don't, and I don't think this is helpful. And I think that a lot of, a lot more people would be much happier and much more successful at their, um, journey if she told the whole truth she said 90 percent of the truth but the 10 percent from the sugar is really really important it's yeah. a shame it, it is a shame and i mean i i think that that has been her downfall too i mean over i stopped i don't really follow her much anymore it seems like her channel has taken a different like approach now which is more for like certain rights issues and things like that which is fine but um actually my turning point was like in 2016 actually when freely and harley kind of had their falling out and um i had wrote to her and i was like hey why aren't you still promoting like the high carb vegan message she kind of like disappeared and kind of got angry and i understand all that but um I started following his advice more and like doing more of the refined foods. And it was just like a light clicked on. And I was like, wow, how, why haven't I been doing this this whole time? Like I felt like I was struggling for a while, especially just being on the fruits, like trying to get enough calories in, trying to like not have um, uh, like some digestive issues related to eating such high amounts of fruit. And like, I know when I first started implementing like starches into my diet, doing the rots before I was like, Oh my God, like this feels so much better. And it's for several reasons. You're getting more soluble fiber with starches. You're getting that denser form of calories. Um, and it's just kind of matching like your taste buds with like a sweet with a savory, you know, and getting back to those IV bags, when you get an IV in the hospital, it's got water, sugar, and some salt. And, uh, you know, those are what we need for our blood volume to be, um, to be normal. So, so yeah, you, so that, that's what I was saying. Hi, we're going to finish now. I promise I'm going to leave you with your mama. Um, yeah, so I think that if we wrap this up, I think that it would be really good if people who got the right information really shared the right information, all of it, like 100%, not 90% to be likable, not like 99, but 100. And that's what I like about Harley, uh, because everybody is bashing him, but he's like the most honest and very truthful person on the internet i mean who do you follow besides i mean i follow him like i really like to see his videos but i don't follow anybody else from let's say vegan youtubers because they're so phony and high fat 
Well, I'll follow a few others actually that have kind of like been in Harley's coaching group and okay. um, I don't, I don't. Yeah, because I don't know other people. Of them, just because like I think it's a bit controversial to like make my opinions about what I think is really going on. But like I had stated previously, I think there's a lot of female vegan YouTubers out there who are saying eat as much as you want, you know, like eat unlimited, eat intuitively, but like there's something else going on. And if you look into their programs, there's no sugar, there's limited fruit. Um, and, but they have like that image, you know? And I think that that's the deceiving part is because (laughs) <laughs> Harley is really good about calling people out, but like I, I find that I get a lot of views actually when I talk about another YouTuber who's, you know, I think is doing something that they isn't good for like their audience. But I think it's hard when you don't know like the whole picture and you kind of have to let them figure it out for themselves. I even recently had a friend who um, I've known for a really long time come to me and she's like, Hey, I have, um, I think I have an eating disorder. And she's like, do you think I, I had one. I'll I'll take care of it. Okay. Um, but I've known this girl for like since college and she came to me in like confidence of telling me this. And I'm like, it's really interesting. You never know like what is actually going on with someone. And Um, you kind of just have to let like people figure it out for themselves. And so, you know, somebody follows their advice, like high carb Hannah's advice, and they're not getting the results they want. They find that they're hungry all the time. Then they're going to look elsewhere and hopefully they find you or me or Harley or Natasha. I think Natasha's information is great. I, I mean, like I would rather watch her now than freely because she just seems more transparent, more real. She's um, like out there to help and to show what she's doing. And, and I think that that's great. And we just need more people like that, that aren't like, Hey guys, like if you do this, like you get these results, you know, like, I think that that's great, but I don't know. It just (laughs) really, uh, thank you, Victoria for everything. Um, you will send me your uh, details later so I can post the um your links down below so people can find you and i really yeah. appreciate this conversation i think it was really good so that people can see that you don't just go up you also go down so uh and that people see how good a mommy can look if she eats 5000 calories every day <laughs> yeah, carve up and that's that's the message carve up be patient and um yeah I, it's been a pleasure thank you so much for having me yeah, me too. So have a nice day and uh, get rid of the spider nicely, yeah? <laughs> bye, 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 girls. Bye, bye, bye Victoria. <laughs>